Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to get the Annals of Karsis in Baldur's Gate 3. So, we have to go to the Sorcerer's Sundries here, go into the left portal, and then we're going to make our way down to the middle floor here. So we got to use jump onto the furniture, or you can fly down there. And then once you're down here, there's going to be a few different places that can teleport us to the vaults, where there's a whole lot of good loot here. So, we're going to go to the dark side of the room here, and we're going to use this weave button here. This is going to take us all the way down to the sorcerer's vault now we can pick the lock here and there's going to be a really nice spell there but what we're going to do is leave the room and there's going to be a lever there once we pull the lever that's going to take us out into this main room here where there's going to be a lot of traps so be very mindful when you're navigating through here we're going to make it to the door on the other side and you're just going to open it up and make sure you have a save somewhere around here it's going to be nice to refer back to that at some point and then we're going to go into the door here so you have to break it down or lock pick it and watch out for the other traps once you get in here. So there is a little uh, lever there that you can pull on, but we're just going to continue on all the way across to the other side where there's a few different doors. So the silver hand door, the Karsis door, and Elminster. So we're going to go silver hand first, and there's a specific order that we have to go through. So once we go through this door here, we're then going to be going through the uh, illusion or abjuration door here once we get in through this it's going to take us into another room here where we're going to want to click onto the uh, silver door here and this is going to unlock the Elminster area so this will open up the door once we go through this one here be mindful there's a lot of traps and there's a lot of traps in this room too so as you can see avoid those and we're going to make it to the other side and grab the lever there once that happens it's going to open up the Elminster door so we're going to go return back to this area and this time we're actually going to go through the evocation door this is going to open up the Karsis door which will lead us to the annals of Karsis so we want to make our way through there and then into the next room here, we're going to be going through the wish door. Watch out for the traps. There's a trap right in front of each of these doors, and it will trigger something like that. And then the traps are in the same location as last time, so move around to the side, and then you can open up the curses door here so we'll just make our way back and then you can go into the elminster room here there's gonna be some really good loot in here that you can get i'd recommend going for this first because there's gonna be some valuables that you can sell and then there's also going to be the pyro quickness hat which is actually pretty nice for a certain number of builds but then there's a lock door here that has the uh, ability to give yourself temporary health points and if you have the necromancy of thay you can continue on that quest line so you do get a curse and if you use remove curse it'll give you 20 temporary health points so that's pretty nice now once you're done with that you're going to go back to the main room there and go to the opposite side this is going to be the door of curses so we're going to continue on into curses vault and there's going to be the annals of curses here so we're going to read that and then it's going to give us a spell but also it furthers on gale's quest so if you're doing that in baldur's gate 3 it's going to help further your quest line there and then once you leave you're going to bump into elminster and there's some interesting dialogue there so hope this video was useful and if it was please hit the subscribe button below and i'll see you in the next video